This video, we're gonna be paneling the inside of the sauna and I'm gonna show you why we're not using cedar. We bought vacant waterfront land and we're building the ultimate recreational getaway. And one of those things we're building is a wood-fired sauna. Welcome to episode five. First thing we're gonna do is take all the aspen out of the sauna and we've got some framing to finish up. And then we're gonna foil vapor barrier the walls, put some furring strips and then install the paneling. You're gonna see some uh, snow in this video at the start and it's like midsummer now. So we've been, uh, you know, doing some other stuff, having lots of hot tubs. But now we're back at it full swing because we wanna get this thing done by fall. The insulation's up in the sauna and now we have this nice sound deadened room. I ran into a little problem with the window. I was in a huge hurry to seal it up last winter before we headed out to Korea. So the spacers are saturated. There's definitely water coming in and I looked outside and the, so the, like the caulking job is terrible. So I'm gonna have to redo that for sure. And I'm gonna leave this wall until that dries out and I can redo the caulking. I took off all the sealant from the window on the outside and then I took out the uh, spray foam here and you can clearly see where the water is getting into the sealant. So I'm just gonna reseal that properly. I'm not gonna be rushed this time. And then I'm gonna water test it. I'm just gonna spray down the window and see if there's water getting in here. And then I'm gonna spray foam again and then we can seal this up and then panel it. I hate doing things wrong the first time. This is the window that was leaking on the inside. I reapplied caulking just before it rained and I did a, another terrible job, but at least there's enough caulking here. If somebody could redo this for me, that would be great because I'm terrible at this. I hate it so much. I hate, I hate it. We don't have running water here, but this is just lake water that I'm pumping. We used to fill this up. Got to thumb it for pressure. I never thought I'd be doing this. It never rains like this. If it passes this, it'll pass for sure. Shone a flashlight in there and it's totally dry. I'm really relieved. I really hate setbacks like this. Uh, they're really frustrating. They kind of bum you out a little bit, but you learn a lot from a setback. So I guess I'm better for it. Tomorrow's a new day and we're gonna re-insulate this window and then finish the vapor barrier so that we can work on the back wall. Looking forward to it. We're gonna start with the ceiling and then we do the back wall and then we do both side walls. So I'm just gonna start with the ceiling today and we'll see uh, how that goes. I've painted the corners here just in case there's any cracks on the edges as the wood expands and contracts and stuff. Um, so there's no like reflection coming through the cracks. I find that kind of cheapens it. I measured the ceiling and I ripped the first panel so that the start and the end panel are the same size. Paneling is super satisfying. I glued down strips of pressure treated wood around the perimeter to keep the water from sloshing into the walls if somebody were to like dump a tub of water or something on the floor. And then I ripped the first panel and installed it with a little gap off the floor. I got some panels up, the sunset. So I'm working by Coleman Lantern. This is how people used to do it back in the day before electricity, except not with nailers. It's getting a little late, so I'm gonna call it, but this is what I've done. The panels are going up quick. You can see I've left an air gap here. And that goes all the way down to the bottom, so air can get up the panels and they can breathe a bit. I want to talk a little bit about our wood choice. We did not choose cedar for our sauna. A lot of American saunas use cedar and we went with Aspen. I've got a lot of Finnish family members. Katrina's Finnish, so I asked them what kind of wood is best. And a lot of them suggested alternatives to cedar and didn't prefer cedar actually. So we went with Aspen. It's clear, it's light, it's just a beautiful wood and it's amazing to work with. It's also hypoallergenic, I think. So when I was doing a little bit of research, I found that it's the number one wood used in saunas and hospitals in Finland. I think it's just funny that obviously Finnish hospitals have saunas. I've had some saunas where I left kind of like stuffy and puffy eyed. Um, I think they were pine or cedar, I'm not sure, but this is a safe bet for any guest using this. If somebody has a rare allergen to cedar, they won't have a problem with this. I like how it doesn't like split like cedar does. We did cedar on our outhouse exterior. You can't just like wail on it like you would on this. I just like hammer the tongues with this with a mallet and they don't break. Um, cedars definitely would break. So it's great to work with and it looks good. We 
I've got this uh, ceiling support in without issue. And then I've got the elbow up here. It needs to be secured and strapped to the ceiling. And then I've got a two foot section and then there's gonna be a three foot section. Don't love the elbow, but it's getting there. I'm getting a little frustrated here. I'm trying to make these panels match up with these panels, but I keep having to put these little spaces between here for the panels to match up. No matter how often I do it, I have to do it again. What am I doing wrong? What is going on here? See, this panel matches with this. Eh, it's a bit off. Oh, and this one should, I should have bumped up. I should have made a bigger space. So I've made a space here. Mm, I need to make another space here. If I make another space, I need to make another space even higher. Ugh. I discovered later that there are minor differences in the width of the milled panels, but I doubt anyone else will notice. This is just the kind of thing that really bothers me. We bought this stove last year and just got to unboxing it now. This is the How to Be a Linear 22 with the water tank on the side. We really like the aesthetics of this model and How to Be is a trusted brand, so this is what we did. The instructions say to take it outside for the first burn and to burn off the protective coating and to cure the paint. I think the idea is you don't want all that nasty smoke inside your, your hot room. So I framed in the door finally and this place feels a lot more closed off. I think if I were to do this again, I would just make this whole front face glass. This is gonna have a glass door, but if the whole thing was glass here, it would probably just feel a lot bigger in here. And now the change room is all closed in too. And it's a good size, but it'd be cool if it was glass. It's getting echoey in here again. It was so quiet with just the insulation in. I hung some tape off this roof thing, so I kept getting up on a ladder and bashing my head off this metal. So now it's kind of like a little indicator of when I'm getting close to danger. I'm onto the last few panels, and this wall was kind of one of the trickier ones because you needed to get these two panels to line up on both sides of the door so that when you put a panel up here, it just lines up perfectly and there's no big gaps. So one of the things was making these panels line up in the corners and then leveling them with the other panels on the other side of the door. And I think it worked out. Let's uh, try the piece up here and see if it fits. Check it out, last panel's up. Feels really good. I still have some trim and stuff to do around the windows and doors and ceiling, but I'll wait till I'm done the benches for that. And that's the next step. Next video, you're gonna be seeing me do the benches and maybe firing this thing up. We'll see. I forgot to point out that I installed this vent. Little Amazon vent, twist this shut. This is pine, I might change this for Aspen, but hey, looks good for now. Yeah, more window problems. I noticed ants going in and out of the window, so I took the frame out and there's a whole like ant colony in here. So I cleaned it out and we're just gonna pack some ant powder in before we close it up again. Pretty gross. Ooh.